if finding new books is your thing, you need to keep watching this video. Hi guys, I'm Manpreet and I make book related videos on this channel. If you like books, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on so that you get notified whenever the awesome book videos come up. Yes, I'm that self-obsessive, but still, keep watching this video so that you can just seriously find out whether I am that good or not. <laughs> anyway, let's get started with this video. It's typically a book haul video where I'm going to show you the books that I acquired in the last couple of days. Some of them I ordered, some of them are gifted, some of them are review copies, some of them came in a book subscription box. So it's like an amalgamation of everything. Okay, most of them are Indian novels, but there are some foreign books as well. So let's get started. Number one book is the second book to The Boy Who Loved by Durjoy Datta. This is The Boy with a Broken Heart. I really love The Boy Who Loved. <laughs> and then I bought this book. Now, this book is written from another girl's perspective named Adavita. She's in Dehradun and she's also going through this kind of, you know, terrible family situation. And she starts writing a diary and then she meets Raghu, who is the protagonist of the last book in the story unfolds. It's more like of a romantic read than social commentary which I felt the boy who loved was. I am going to do review it very soon so I'll link it down below whenever I put up the review. The second book is a review copy and it's a travel memoir by an Indian author, Transit Lounge by Sunil Mishra. I have reviewed it already, I'll link it up. This is like a travel memoir by this person who has been to 30 different countries across six continents. He has gone there multiple times and he tells you what he thinks about each of those countries from the perspective of how it can be like living there, how their economic and social political situations are, like a little bit of it, not like huge detail on everything. He just makes it a very concise and nice read and that is what this travel memoir is about. You get to know about so many different countries from an Indian lens and that is the best part about this book. The next book that I got is 3000 Stitches by Sudha Murthy. Now Sudha Murthy is like a really popular author in the country and this is a non-fiction book which has some real life stories about ordinary people who have done something extraordinary. This is what this book is about. Next book is again a review copy and this is Glimpse of the Truth by Prasad Akte. Now this is a collection of romantic poetry and you guys know that I was really really excited and keen on reading romance in the coming months and that is why you know this book was like okay cool but i honestly do not like the cover of this book i feel like inside it's much more beautiful and it's, it's much more nice i really like it from inside i haven't started reading it yet but then i'm really excited the next one is again a review copy which i've already reviewed i'll link the review up there or in the description and that is men and the dreams in the dhoradhar by koshri c shibu it's a perfect book with a perfect indian vibe about this set of people whose lives revolve around the construction of a dam it's very heavy on you know the construction part of the dam and there are people there is one person who is running away from his past and there is one person who is planning a terrorist attack and you know blow away this dam and bring this entire country into ruins and there is this woman who is trying to find her true love there are so many people and their lives are intertwined because of the construction of this dam and that is what this book is about i kind of really liked it i have reviewed it i already told you so check out the review Next two books are by this very popular romantic thriller, sort of erotica thriller author and that is Navanil Chakrabarti. Now, uh, this is Forever is Lie and this is the second part Forever is True. Now, Forever is Lie is about this girl who is 18 year old and studying in Bangalore and then she gets to know about this mystery man who is called Mean Monster and she kind of starts falling for him. She doesn't know that whoever loves this guy dies. So that is what the back cover says. The next book that I got for myself is Love Stories That Touched My Heart by Ravinder Singh. Now this is a collection of short stories, romantic stories which have been edited by Ravinder Singh and I'm really excited to read this because you guys, uh, I think I haven't read many short stories in the last year and if you have been following me since a long time, you would know that I kind of really like reading short stories. So yeah, this is a cool one. I like it. I have a love and hate relationship with short stories. Let me be clear because people are going to just go and watch those videos and they're going to like, 
you said something different than but i changed and the fact is i have a love and hate relationship with short stories but i was really excited to read this because ravinder singh is considered one of the most popular romance authors of the country so i wanted to see what he has done in a book right next book is again a fiction but by a very popular indian author and that is preeti shinoy a hundred little flames it's a new book that has come out so this book a hundred little flames is about this 26 year old guy who is sent back to his village in kerala so it must be set up in kerala which is something that excites me very much because i want to kind of want to read books set in different indian settings right so he is sent there and he is kind of like you know what can happen in this boring village but there is the father who is cunning and i don't know if he's cool but he is a domineering father who has his own plans and he's determined to have his own way a lot of you guys are like man please please start reviewing preeti shinoy books and i'm like sure i have like this copy and i also have uh, why we love the way you do and i will read and review these two guys next i have perils of being moderately famous by soha ali khan you guys know that i kind of love reading memoirs and stuff uh, by celebrities shilpa shetty kundra's book i have read i do have the signed copy dressed with my name by rishi kapoor i have unsuitable boy i have like raghuram's book road is my rear view journey i kind of really love books which are you know written by celebrities and these kind of memoirs and i am really excited to read this one because yes i really want to know about this patodi family and what you know this moderately famous woman have to say because a lot of people are like you know this is a big find she has this witty and nice voice which people will love so i'm really excited to see whether that's true or not i think i'm done with all the indian books now let's talk about other books that i really wanted to read and i bought myself number one is girl boss by sophia amaruso now if you guys keep watching my wrap ups you will know that i watched this show called girl boss which was based on this woman's life she is the owner of founder of nastigal.com which is like a very very popular e-commerce website i think it's in uk and you know she has written this uh, guide to for women to be strong and determined and you know, achieve great things so it's like a power manifesto for strong ambitious young women next i have tell tale by jeffrey archer now i have not read any book by jeffrey archer and i was really excited to read this one because a lot of people have been saying good stuff about it it's like nearly a decade after his last volume of short stories jeffrey archer comes back with this book i'm not going to dive into the story of it because usually you want to go into those books like blind so yeah tell tale <laughs> next is another book which i really really fantasized about reading for a long time and it's black beauty by anna seville it's again a collection puffin classics collection and if you guys don't know i'm trying to collect all the books from puffin classics collection because the font is so good and that will just inspire me to read more classics right i have a couple of them if you guys want to give me some it's in my amazon wish list at link down below just send me some books okay <laughs> anyway yes this is about this thought like it's a heart breaking story about a horse i have watched the movie it was like years maybe 10 years ago ever since then i wanted to read black beauty i never got around reading it but yes now that i have it i feel like my life has been fulfilled next is a non fiction that is the power of habit by charles duhigg it's like a very very popular self help book about you know habit formation and everything and i am like everybody has recommended this book to me so i was like i got to buy this if you guys are looking for self help book recommendations i do not know what's in it i haven't read it but i have heard a lot about it so you can check this out next was gift by some unknown person who refuses to tell me his or her name but uh, one is again a puffin classic because i am trying to collect them It's Malgudi School Days by R K Narayan. Now I have read R K Narayan stories when I was in school, and I was like delighted to receive a gift, you know, gift paper with a mysterious message on it. And then the same person sent me this book, My Dog, My Guru, by Gilles Mortuner. I cannot pronounce the name, but you know, kind of it kind of makes me think: Are you the author of this book? like i'm just making a random guess if you are like we know 
But yes, I this book is sort of a self help about dogs principles for happier life. What I really loved about it the, is the dog. Yeah, yeah, I am dog loving. You guys know that. I, just send me any books which has a dog on it. Okay, I really love that. <laughs> The next two books are something which you might have seen in my last videos only and that is The Wonderling, okay, not The Wondering by Meera Bachok. Now this is like a, a new release which is about this house which is run by a cruel and cunning woman and uh, then there are uh, half human and half animal creatures in this. The book has a beautiful copy and it just makes me want to read it right now. But sorry dude, I cannot take you right now, okay? And the next is again a classic that is said in not in London, but in England, 19th century England. It's a sort of fantasy with a little bit of magic in it. And it's written in the classic Jane Austen Dickens style writing. And it's quite popular, guys. It's quite popular. And I have heard a lot about this. So I'm like really excited to read this as well. So that is what I think these are all the books I have in my list. I seriously have this feeling that I'm forgetting some important book. But then I don't know, guys. Maybe in the next video. Okay. don't fall like <laughs> yes guys these are the books that i got in this book haul like these are like 18 books and i'm so excited i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you like the fact that this was a slightly different book haul video than usual usually i do not ever go into the you know details of the books then then i felt like if i don't tell you the details why are you even watching this video right so i hope you appreciate that fact or at least you notice that fact and let me know how can I improve these book haul videos because they are almost very popular and I want to make them better, right? Okay, so let me know guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you discovered some good books. And if you did, make sure you hit a thumbs up. If you did not, I'm not going to say it, but make sure you subscribe, okay? Whether you liked it or not. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. This is meant to be signing off. I'll be back with another video. Ready soon!